All right, let's talk about something really cool happening inside your body. Something you can actually supercharge with a simple trick. It's called autophagy. Now I know it sounds like a weird sci-fi word, but stick with me. Autophagy is basically your body's cellular cleanup crew. Think of it like a Pac-Man inside your cells, going around and gobbling up all the old damaged junk parts, misfolded proteins, dysfunctional mitochondria, all the stuff that can lead to problems down the line. It's a natural recycling process that keeps your cells young, healthy, and efficient. We want more of this, right? So how do we crank up the dial on autophagy? Well, fasting is a big one. When you stop eating for a while, your body goes into conservation mode and starts cleaning house. Exercise is another powerful trigger. When you work out, you create a bit of stress on your cells, which signals them to start that cleanup process. Now for the million dollar question, what happens when you combine them? What's the ultimate hack? Should you exercise in a fasted state or after you've had a meal? This is where it gets really interesting. For years, we've heard about fasted cardio for fat loss. You wake up, skip breakfast, and hit the treadmill. The theory is your body will tap into fat stores for fuel more readily, and there's some truth to that. But when we look at it through the lens of maximizing autophagy, the picture becomes even clearer. When you exercise in a fasted state, let's say first thing in the morning after an overnight fast, you're creating a perfect storm for autophagy. Your insulin levels are rock bottom and your glucagon levels are high. This hormonal environment is already telling your body, hey, no new fuel is coming in, let's start cleaning and recycling what we already have. Then you add the stress of a workout on top of that. It's like a double whammy. You're sending an incredibly powerful signal to your cells to initiate that deep cleaning process. Studies suggest that this combination can significantly amplify the autophagic response compared to exercising in a fed state. So what does this look like in practice? A great strategy is to do your workout at the end of your fasting window. For example, if you practice intermittent fasting and you stop eating at 8 p.m., you could do your workout the next morning around 10 or 11 a.m., right before you break your fast. This could be moderate intensity cardio, like a brisk walk, a jog, or a cycling session. Or it could even be some resistance training. Now a quick disclaimer, fasted training isn't for everyone. If you're an elite athlete trying to hit a new personal record, or if you feel weak, dizzy, or just plain awful working out on an empty stomach, listen to your body. Performance might take a slight hit, but if your main goal is cellular health, longevity, and maximizing that amazing autophagy process, exercising in a fasted state is one of the most powerful tools in your arsenal. It's about working smarter, not just harder, to get the most out of every single sweat session. Give it a try and let your inner cleanup crew get to work.